Yo, what is up, Giants Football Scout? We're back at it again. Today, we're going to be taking a look at um, some of the um, undrafted free agents the Giants have picked up so far. Um, uh, this list is the most recent that um, I can find. It's a little hard to find information on, um, you know, who were rumored to have picked up. And um, it's even harder to find stats on some of these guys because they go to really small schools. But, um, you know, there's probably going to be two or three guys that I'm missing and probably two guys that don't end up not getting signed by us. But um, still, regardless, wanted to get this video out. And, um, yeah, let's go ahead and start off. I'm going to put some uh, 2019 season highlights from the Giants. And um, it's every touchdown. Um, so starting off with um, Austin Mack from OSU. Um, he's 6'1", 208 pounds. Um, he's a receiver. Um, he's very talented and uh, um, athletic, um, solid route runner and good hands, but he um, struggles to get production. I've seen some NFL comparisons to um, Cody Latimer. So um, I really like this pickup, you know. Um, Gettleman decided not to get any receivers um, in the actual draft, but um, he's addressing it in um, the undrafted free agent market, and um, he's getting um, good guys. I definitely like the receiver he's picking up. Um, Benjamin Victor, another receiver from Ohio State, which is kind of funny. He's 6'4", 198. He's actually a guy that I wanted at the Mr. Irrelevant pick um, just because of that simple 6'4 frame. And I believe he ran like a 4'6". Yeah, it was decently fast. Uh, it might have been like a 4'5", 7". He's, he's pretty fast and he's big. Um, he's did, He didn't get a lot of yards, but I believe he had eight or so touchdowns last year. Um, so he's definitely a red zone threat. Um, his only real concern is he only started, um, he only really played significant minutes his senior year, and um, that's the only year he actually like started. Um, next we have Kyle Markway, the tight end um, from South Carolina. He's six four two fifty. Um, he has two touchdowns. It's his career high which is um, a little concerning in your tight end. I like my tight ends to be mainly uh, red zone threats. And um, the most games he's ever played in the season is 11. He struggles with being healthy. Um, well, I don't know if he struggles with being healthy, but he for sure didn't play a lot in college, I'm assuming, due to health, because um, he did put up good numbers when he was actually in the game. So I'm assuming it's health-related, but it's kind of hard, hard to find information on that. Um so I really, I don't really mind that. Pick, I don't really like that pickup, but for sure, I like the um, the Austin Mac and the Victor pickups. Um, next, we have like I actually really like this next pickup. It's Kyle Murphy, the um, the center from Rhode Island. Except he played literally, he played center, right guard, right tackle, left tackle, and I don't think he played left guard. He played every position but left guard. I think um, I could be wrong about that, but I know for sure he played every position except. Um, left guard um but yeah man that's really impressive to me he's 6'3 316 he looks extremely out of shape and it doesn't look like a lot of muscle but um i watched a little bit of film he seems very athletic and um uh he does have one trait that joe judge loves and that's versatility i mean the man played every position and um even at right tackle he um i believe he was like all caa first team at right tackle and then he still played pretty good at um, center and guard, um, but I think he could be comparable to Nick Gates, you know, um, a solid athlete, he can play tackle, guard, center, um, yeah, so I really like this pickup, another guy to compete for that center and right tackle spot, um, next we have Javon Leak, um, I did talk about this um, in another video, um, and uh, I really love this pickup too, um, you know, he's a, he's a return man from Maryland. He actually played a little bit of running back, too. Um, but I would assume for the Giants, he's mainly going to be a return man. You probably won't see more than 10 carries from him this season. I would be shocked if he got more than five carries. Um, but he's six foot 215, so by no means is he a small fella. And um, his straight line speed actually wasn't uh, that impressive. But um, he looks very fast on film and um, on some of his punt returns. Definitely elusive, even if he's not the fastest. Um, he averaged 7.2 yards a carry in six games. 
And in that six games, I believe he had like 800-some yards, which is very impressive. And um, he was conference return man of the year at Maryland. And he had the third most, um, I believe it was the third most uh, returning yards um, in all of college football. He also, um, there's one more thing. Oh, I forgot. But, yeah, um, I really like Javon Leak and Kyle Murphy pickups. These are really big pickups in my mind. Um, this one's interesting. It's Nico Lalos, the defensive end from Dartmouth. Um, he's 6'5", 270, pretty prototypical for a defensive end. He's Ivy League first team with five and a half sacks. Um, it was interesting about him. Is um, I looked him up, got some stats off of ESPN. Said he had .5 like t- sacks and one tackle, so I was very confused. And then um, I had to go to the Dartmouth website to actually find his real stats. And uh, he had a lot of accolades. And um, honestly, his numbers weren't that impressive. Uh, five and a half sacks, I feel like, is not that impressive. Um, but he can for sure get to the quarterback. And um, this is an interesting pickup. Um, I don't mind it. Next, we have Malcolm Elmore, the defensive back out of Central Methodist. Um, he's 5'11", 185, so definitely a small guy. He's very fast. Um, he's a three-year starter, and his um, career high in interceptions is four. So um, he can definitely um, he can definitely get um, his hands on the ball. Uh, I believe he's D2. I believe Central Methodist is a D2 school. So, um, you know, four interceptions is definitely um, solid. Could be a good practice squatter. Um, I don't think he ever makes a real roster. But, um, yeah, I like that pickup. Um, yeah. Next is Case Cookis, the um, quarterback out of Northern Arizona. Uh, he comes in at 6'4", 205 pounds. Um, in 2019, he threw 31 touchdowns, seven interceptions. Um, so he could be a good developmental backup. Um, to come in behind Daniel Jones, which we know backups are very important, as we see Eli Manning throw a nasty touchdown to Slayton, which was mainly Slayton's um, responsibility there, and not wasn't really Jones or um, Manning. But it's definitely important to have good backups, and um, you know he can develop behind Tanny and um, and Colt McCoy. Um, I really like that pickup actually. He's for sure probably going to make the roster. I love that pickup. Um, next. We have a really interesting one. It's Ryzen John from Canada. Um, he is six foot seven, two hundred pounds. He's a skinny dude, and he's really tall. They say he's a wide receiver slash tight end. Uh, I I think he's too fragile to play tight end in the NFL. He would get he would be more fragile than Ingram, um, for sure. It's not good. <laughs> um, but that's an interesting pickup. I don't actually see him playing, um, to be honest. I don't see him working out. Derek Dillon out of LSU, the wide receiver. He's 5'11", 186. Small guy, probably would be playing in the slot. He ran a 4'2", 9", I believe, unofficially maybe. Um, I don't remember if it's unofficially or not. But uh, he did run a 4'2", 9", but he is not productive at all. Um, his career high in touchdowns is 2 in a season. And um, he only gets about 200-some yards a season also. So um, he does struggle for productivity. But um, I think it could be a good pickup just simply because of the fact that, um, you know, he's such a um, – he could be used as a weapon. And you don't really look at him to be getting more than 200 yards. I mean, if he can just come in and be a thing that offensive coordinator has to look at, it's a great pickup. I really like that pickup there. Um, out of all these guys that we picked up, uh, I really think uh, uh, probably Benjamin Victor. I, I could see him making the roster. Um, the Kyle Murphy, the center, versatile guy, could definitely make it. Javon Leak is definitely going to make it. And uh, Case Cookus. I think those are my four guys that I – or is that four? Yeah, four guys. Those four guys I really think could um, make an impact on the Giants. And um, they could actually end up being something. I feel like Javon Leak is a, a really good pickup. I think it's going to be um, – he could be a Pro Bowl uh, caliber return man, to be honest. 
So I'm very happy with our UDFA so far. And um, I'm looking forward.